once you make it to the IITs yeah. in this country, yeah. you're sorted. Yeah. You ended up doing a master's. Yeah. You didn't stop there. Yeah. I got a job at a Fortune 500 company. Yeah. Didn't stop there. Yeah. Uh, went to Wharton. Could have stopped there. Yeah. Any of these points, you could have stopped at, and it would have been enough. Yeah. What kept you going? I think uh, the biggest realization at every point in time is there are hundreds of other people way smarter than you. Okay. So you know, I was in in school. I you know with very I would say like with moderate effort or low to moderate effort, I easily would secure a very high rank in my class and all along from like kindergarten to like all the way till 12th. Yeah. When I got into IIT on yeah. the very first day, yeah. I realized, yeah. holy, hmm. holy crap, like, you know, nine out of 10 people, nine out of 10, 10 friends, students around me, they're all way smarter than I am. Right. I think at every level. It's not something you think about consciously, but you know, yeah. when I was in college in IIT, I realized academically yeah. there are so many kids who are way smarter than I am. So it will take a lot of effort and, and conscious effort on my part to sort of raise my standards, right? right? And not just on academics, on other stuff like, you know, there were there were students who were excellent at debating, dramatics. There were kids who were just absolutely excellent at, at sports, some were excellent at bodybuilding. So, mm -hmm. you know, for the first time in my life, I saw that uh, excellence, not just in academics, which we usually think about, but in yeah. IIT, I saw excellence in almost every other field, right? In music, in dramatics, in performing arts, in, in, in everything. So yeah. I think that was highly inspiring. Mm -hmm. at, at, in, initially, it was also intimidating. Mm -hmm. But uh, eventually it was inspiring because when you spend time with them, you were learning. You were mm -hmm. learning something, you were getting perspectives about an area that you never thought about. Mm. Right? So, and same, same, at, uh, same at my jobs and same at, uh, at, uh, at even today. Mm. I think, uh, I was actually thinking about the same topic this morning. Mm -hmm. What keeps me going yeah. is that, uh, and we discussed this internally also, that every December, January, when we start planning for the next year, and when we look back the previous January, yeah. it feels like we were so stupid back then. And we have come a long way from them. And that's good. Yeah. Uh, that's good that st sitting in this January, I feel uh, extremely stupid about how I took decisions and how I thought about things in the last January because then I'm growing. Right. So I think the learning is what, what keeps you growing. So year after uh, year, smarter, richer. Uh, relative to my, <laughs> my, my levels. <laughs>